WWRR, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, WMMZ, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hazleton, WYCK, Plains. Powered by Mohegan Sun Pocono. It's the New River, 105 and 103.5. This is music on the menu on the river. Featuring Northeast PA's best artists. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Never mind. She can move me like the stereo, like a song on the radio. She's an angel in the morning, yeah, that's real. And now, here's your host, Alan K. Stout. So I got that going for me, which is nice. All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout with you as I always am. Sunday nights, 9 to 10 o'clock, bringing you regional artists doing their own original material from right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Hanging out with D.C. Taylor. D.C., good to see you. Happy yes. New Year, man. Happy New Year, Alan. All Our right. first show of 2019. Yeah. This will mark, I guess, my... Sixth year doing the show here on the, the river. river. Yep. Uh, so, you know, we're looking forward to a great year here at Bohegan Sun and doing shows at Breakers. And speaking of Breakers, we have a guest here in the studio tonight. Danielle, good to see you. Hey, how are you doing, Alan? I'm doing fantastic. Good to see you again. It's been a little while. Yeah. I think the last time I me. saw you wasn't the last time you were here, but I did a profile for you for the newspaper. Yes. Up in Scranton. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah, that that, was, that, that was a lot of fun. But... Uh, now we wanted you to come back down and do music on the menu live as you did on Wednesday night. And thanks for a great set. Oh, well, thanks for having us. We had a blast. It was a lot of fun. The reason we wanted to have you back is because you have a new EP out. I do. And thank you guys, first of all, for all of your support. It means so much. Well, we've been playing that last record now for, for a couple of years. And we've been looking forward to some new music. And right before the holiday, we got it running on Dreams. Yes. A new EP. You know, I was looking at the the artwork and, and, you know, some of the credits. You did this record, looks like in two places, Nashville and Easton, two studios? It was actually, everything was recorded in Nashville. Okay. The music, the vocals, everything was done there, and it was mastered in Mastered in Easton, in Easton. So that's why they're both... a little bit, a little bit of PA A little bit of there. PA yeah. on there, but a lot of Nashville, too. And I know you love Nashville. Oh, yeah. We've, we've talked about that. Oh, yes. You go there a couple times a year? Yeah, that's like our, our second home now. Yeah. So well, We're going to talk all about that throughout the show we're going to talk about the new record we're going to play you all five songs on the new ep we're going to play a couple of your older tracks that we like let's get the show rolling with brand new music from danielle this one's called running on dreams look up at the sky can you see it now they shine for you and me, they're shining all around. Look into my eyes, let's just take it in. We'll never have this moment, never again. Right here, right now, all the things I never say until today. For the ones who always said to believe The ones who stood beside us And held tight to the dream Looking back now It all just seems so clear The blood, the sweat, the tears Were leading us here Right here, right now All the things we never say Until Running on 
Danielle here on Music on the Menu on the River song called Jokes on You. And before that, new music from Danielle, the title track from her new EP, Running on Dreams. Now, we were talking about in the first segment about how you, you love Nashville and, you know, you recorded the record there. You did the last record there, too, right? Yeah, I did. So Eleven you, was recorded so you there. You did a couple of albums there. You're obviously a big fan of country music. My question for you is, when did that happen and how did that happen? And I ask that to all artists that are on the show. Your influence, the genre that you like, what was the springboard that led to you becoming the fan of the type of music that you are in and the artist that you are? Yeah, well, I mean, growing up, my parents always had country music playing in the house, in the car, no matter, you know, where we were. They were fans first off. And uh, I actually started singing when I was only three. And the first song I sang was Angels Among Us by Alabama in church. Oh, wow. So Alabama, of course, legends, you know what I mean, in country music. And from there on, I've always wanted to be a singer, as crazy as that sounds. I've never, like, wavered off of that or anything. My parents have always supported me. And I think just the story behind country music, there's always, there's something for everybody. You know, through heartbreak, through happiness, through sadness, through anger, you know, no matter what it is. There's something about country music that just has an amazing way of relating to everyone. And at a young age, I think I realized that. I'm trying to think of when we did that story for the newspaper 
probably about two years ago now. Was it Patsy Cline? Yeah. You talked about quite a bit. Love Patsy Cline. I, thought, I remember that. Yep. Yeah. She is uh, somebody who's gone, but will never be forgotten through her music. And just her as a person, like I've studied her as an artist, you know, musically and just as a person. And she's just somebody that I look up to greatly because she really paved the road for a lot of us female artists in country. She sure did. Let's play another one from Danielle. This one's called Get Back Up. There'll be people that'll say you can't do it. They're the ones that always walk away So hold on to the ones that are in your corner It's your thick and thin, they are there to stay Don't get caught up in all the haters While you're building walls, they try to knock you down Acting fake and spreading all the rumors While you're trying to make a difference in this town You get back up Everything we have to see it through You say there's a light at the end of the tunnel So believe it when it's shining down on you It's easy finding reasons why it won't work But just trust all the reasons why it can you put all your heart and soul behind it It all becomes a part of a bigger plan And you get back up
Iron Cowboy here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Throw Your Love to the Wind. And before that, brand new music from Danielle, a song called Get Back Up from her new EP, Running on Dreams. I put a little, a uh, few other country, local country artists on the program tonight, because I know you're friends with, with quite a few. Yeah, absolutely. And you know Big John from Iron I Cowboy? I love Big John. He <laughs> is the best. Absolutely love him. He loves you too. I was just <laughs> talking to him the other day, and he, you know, he was talking about looking forward to... Uh, Wednesday night, you know, yeah. tuning in on the radio or, or coming up, you know, yeah. he's a big fan. And you know, in in this area, I mean, we're not Nashville, we're not South, but you know, I know that some of the country bands do really well in in the clubs. You know, Tommy Gunn's band, yeah, or, or Mitch there's from a the lot. Women's, he packs them in, and yeah, John had a great run with Iron Cowboy. There's a lot of country in northeastern Pennsylvania. Is, is there a country bar in Dunmore? Yeah, the Honky Tonk. Honk, yeah. yeah, we've actually, we played the Honky Tonk before. And one in Oak Street in Pittston? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, there's, I mean, there's really a lot. There's a lot of representation of Nashville in Pennsylvania. <laughs> got a little bit of a scene. And then there's a lot of representation of, uh, when you think about it, in Nashville of Northeast Pennsylvania. Bill, oh my gosh, Bill absolutely. Bill Kelly is yeah. out there. Uh, Bob Lewis, I think Scott Van Fossen from Fighting Zero was out there. I think he's moved on to Vegas. Yeah. Musician-wise and industry-wise, because uh, then there's Jimmy Harnon. Jimmy Harnon, Who was course. from the area and is now, you know, with Big Machine. And yeah. The public I mean, down there. And you always hear Jimmy getting shout-outs on the Country Music Awards when artists are winning. Yeah. You know, because he was the artist. He was the, you know, the guy that signed them or the yeah. president of their label. And, and Jimmy, of course, had a top 10 hit. Um from Plymouth, Pennsylvania, with "Where Are You Now?" Now back in 1989. So yeah, we got we got, they, they merge There's a little a bit. There's a lot of crisscrossing going on. Hanging out with Danielle, talking about her new EP, "Running on Dreams." She played you that record on uh, Wednesday night at Breakers, as well as some other songs. What um, you know, what, as I looked at the record, you 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 wrote all the songs, most of them yourself. It was a co-writing credit on one. Four of them I wrote yep. on my own, and then the one is, is another one. No, I didn't have any part in Get Back Up. Okay. That's the only one out of all I noticed all there was another name on one yeah. of the track. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of the track. So you, you, but you do write most of your material. Yeah. What is it that inspires you the most, first and foremost, to write? You know what? Honestly, everyday life. It's not, some songs on there might be something that I have gone through. Um, other songs might be something that I've watched somebody else go through, even if I don't even know them. <laughs> <laughs> I always say that, you know, anything is up for grabs. Like anybody who knows me, you know, that's, <laughs> it so might have, turn into a song. You have your friends, yeah, walking around on guard a little bit <laughs> yeah. like, hey, don't write about this now. Yeah, right. because <laughs> I uh, told you I'm having a hard time with my boyfriend. I don't want to hear about <laughs> it on your next record. <laughs> but no, it's just, it's everyday life. Or maybe and they would. When I was writing, you know, Running on Dreams, the, the whole EP, I really had the fans in mind. And that's why it's titled Running on Dreams. That's why the first single was that song was just because if you listen to those lyrics, and uh, I know you guys just played that, and thank you very much. But um, when you really listen to the lyrics, it's just all about everybody who's been on our side for, for all this time. And we've been running on this one dream together. When you say we, yeah, I know that you're talking about your family, yeah, your band. Yeah. I mean, you do have, you have a great uh, following on social media. Yeah. And I notice when you post things, you know, you get tons of thumbs ups and likes and, and you know, so you really do have a team behind you. Talk about that a little bit, you know, because um, I imagine that's incredibly comforting and uh, inspiring. Yeah, it, I'm extremely blessed for sure. Right from, you know, my parents, like I said, from the get-go as a three-year-old little kid, they have supported me. And I mean, how many parents would turn around and all these years later, I'm 22 now, you know, they have been by me this entire journey. And that has turned into, you know, our friends, our family, and then just wonderful people along the way that I've gotten to meet on this journey, like yourself and everybody here at the river. And you guys have been such a wonderful support. And without fans, I wouldn't get to do what I do and get to chase this dream. So any chance I get, I always like to say thank you to them. Yeah, I mean, that to, to see that kind of artist relationship develop, and it's easier to witness it now because of social media. Yeah, I mean, you know, in the old days, and when I talk the old days, I mean, ten years yeah, ago, yeah, not that long ago. Yeah, you go out and play, and maybe I you know, hope someone comes tonight, you know, and they show right. up, and you thank them for coming. But now you can engage with them 
you know, hey, here, here we're in the studio, we're working on a tune, and you know, hey, here's a picture of uh, the album cover that's coming out, and you know, you get feedback in a much more immediate way, and and a lot more often. Oh, for sure, social media is one of my absolute favorites for that reason. I can talk to fans, you know, after a show, during a show, if we go live, or people from other countries, other states. It's it's really an incredible thing. You do you could you got you, your whole team does a good job with that. Thank you. Let's play another one from the new record from Danielle. This one's called Mama and Daddy Say. I'm the perfect and I don't claim to be. I have my bad days. On this road You seem to know me Better than I know me And I know where to turn When I feel so low You pull me in And know just what to say Gotta laugh it off Enjoy the ride Mama and daddy were all so right Gotta take my time And love this life of mine That hurt just shows you're strong. Wipe away your tears, don't let them see no fear. Darling, this is where you belong. Don't let them try to put you down. Just remember these words.
Whichever path you choose It's all up to you People in your lives Will come and go Which one's wrong or right So hard to know It's all up to you Danielle here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called It's All Up to You. And before that, Danielle, with a new track, Mama and Daddy Say. We're talking to Danielle here for the whole full hour about her new EP, Running on Dreams. She was just with us on Wednesday night as part of the Music on the Menu live music series, which we do live at Breakers. I want to thank our friends from The Weekender, of course, for supporting us on that as well, as well as everybody here at Mohegan Sun Pocono. Danielle, you know, we talked a little bit before about your 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 love for Nashville and going out there a couple times a year, your parents, you know, taking you out there. And, you know, I know that from following you on Facebook, you've won some awards out there over the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm the, the name of the, the award ceremony is the Josie music, Awards. the Josie music yep. awards held in Nashville every mm-hmm. year. And did you win, was it, Album of the Year, Country Artist of the Year, Female. Uh, I mean, you won a couple of them. Yeah, we actually, the first one we won was the Rising Artist of the Year. Rising Artist of the Year. And then won Female Artist of the Year two years in a row. And then this past year, we won uh, Fans Choice Award. Okay. Which was really cool because that one is voted on by the fans and then turned over to the, the industry panel as well. So it was cool to have both insights in there and to know that the fans had something to do with that. Yeah, I was, I was interested in how they work because I think all awards are a little bit of mystery to people. Any, yeah. any like the Oscars, I know there's like the, oh, the, yeah. the Academy and like, who's the Academy? You know, <laughs> is, you know, and it's directors and actors, I guess, yep. you know, in, in these Josie awards. So is it specifically for independent artists? It is for independent artists. Um, there is no like click voting, you know what I mean? You don't go to a website and there's no certain polls or anything like that. But when it comes to certain awards, like fans choice award, the fans are asked to participate to send in a little blurb of, you know, why they think their favorite artist should, you know, win such award like fans choice. And uh, then, you know, things are handed over to the industry panel, just, I guess, to go over and everything like mm-hmm. that. But uh, just like you said, it's just as much of a mystery hey, well, <laughs> to me, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, the fact that there's industry people is interesting, you know, I mean, yeah. there be, so there are people, you know, maybe record company executives or A&R people and folks like yeah. that from Nashville that are involved in that. That's yeah. Really, that's really cool. That's Absolutely. really cool. Here's another one of, uh, we're doing a little set here of a few of the other uh, country flavored artists from Northeast PA. Jeannie Zano, who I know you said you've heard her on the yes. show and you admire her stuff. Absolutely. And then Shannon Marciata, who I know she's your buddy. Cause yeah. She, she's a one Actually, that you bring Shannon up, I think how we met was through your show. Oh, really? Yeah. I think, you know, one of the first times that you had put us together, you know, our songs together is, you know, when she had reached out or I had reached out either way. And so that, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. cool. It's full that, circle. That's, that, that's <laughs> nice to know. Let's play one from Jeannie and one from Shannon. Talk to talk 
Gucci, me llamo senorita I'm not here for your hand, just wanna dance while I can still stand Go on and rustle me Shannon Marciotta here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Stick in the Mud. And before that, Jeannie Zano with a song called Break Me Down. A few of the other country singing ladies from here in northeastern Pennsylvania that I know Danielle is a fan of as yeah. well. So I thought we'd spin them. We played a little Iron Cowboy before, who I know you're also a fan of. We've yeah. been hanging out with Danielle here for the whole hour, talking about her new record, Running on Dreams. We've been talking about her trips to Nashville, her influences how she got involved in country music, you know, what inspires her to write, where she did the record. So we're trying to cover it all here yeah. in this hour. Um, you talked about singing. And I know that if you read a lot of biographies from musicians, and I have, and I, I, I'm, I'm suspecting you probably have as well. Yeah. You, know, you, you know, rock musicians, country, I mean, Elvis Presley, you know, is, is one that comes to mind. So many of them, started singing in church yes you and, were right about yeah. that one yeah, yeah. And, especially country music yeah you know that for sure there's yeah. a lot that started just like i just said it, you know you know it's 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 a it's a big thing in 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 the bible belt and, and in the south for folks to you know go to go to church and sing uh, for a long time yeah you know, like not just a couple of you know i'm catholic so we'll do a couple during mass and then we're, we're yeah we're out <laughs> <laughs> Just, just telling you the truth, you know. But you know, in 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 that part of the country, particularly, you're right. I mean, you know, singing in church is a big deal. Oh yeah, you know? music is is the center. And, of And that's how you got that. That was you said three years old. Yeah, and really, I started because nobody else would volunteer, and of course, I was this loud and boisterous three year old. So I was like, I can't read yet, but if you give my mom the words, then you know we'll learn them. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally how it went down, and. You know, it was Angels Among Us, like I said, by Alabama. And we have pictures of me standing in the TV room. And I remember learning them. My mom teaching them, like, you know, with different hand motions and everything like that. And, uh, you know, I can still remember back to being three years old, as crazy as that sounds, and standing in church on the altar and just realizing, like, how cool this was that, you know, everybody was listening. And music just got me, I think, from that day forward. When, um, when was the first time you recorded I think I was about eight or nine years old. Okay. You went in the studio? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was it was around that time, and I think the first time I ever released anything, I was about 12, 13, something like that. When you say released, now, in your age, that's already in Facebook era, right? Yeah. Ten years ago. Yeah. And so, I mean, did you put it out there that way, or did you release it well, my, the, to the, family? You know? Yeah. Well, my first release wasn't originals. That was just kind of covers that I had done, and I recorded it locally at SI. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, that was just, I was playing out at that point. So fans, I, I started to grow a following. And even though it was just covers, people were taking an interest and, you know, wanted CDs. And then from there was when we had first went to Nashville. And, you know, a few years later, I released 11. And all through that process, I was learning how to hone my songwriting skills and, you know, how to really get into that. And then that's when I started releasing the originals. I have a copy of 11, obviously, because we've been playing that. And obviously, I don't I have a copy of that country record. I want I, You got to get me a copy of that. I have to see that. if I can, I any, can dig got, one up. <laughs> if not, I'll have to do the old school burning it. To yeah, <laughs> I'd like to hear some of yeah. those tracks. You know, because that's a lot of fun. Go it in, is. Go in and record songs that you love. Oh, yeah. I, I've been doing that for, for years. Yeah. I, I go into the studio about once a year. 
Just yeah. for fun. Absolutely. Hey, we're going to record a Springsteen song today. Yeah. I just I just love it. Nothing so, wrong with that. No, not, not at all. Here's another new one from Danielle from the new record. This one's called No Fool in Me. Just like a snake A fooling people with your smile You have a way Of making me think I've had enough with all your lies Fool me once, fool me twice But I can see right through your heart of eyes Your match at your very own game, and now you've got a price to pay. Secrets out, and you're the fool. Now, who you gonna go crying to? Fool me once, fool me twice, but I can see right through you. No more tears to fall, no more twisted words, no more hearts to hurt. Fool me once, fool me twice, but I can see right through your heart of eyes. Enough words and people think they see, darling, there's no fool in me.
were our last hours And we're so far from home But we're standing alone Cause we're just too damn proud to give in Kate here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Wake Up. And before that, Danielle with a new one called No Fool and Me. Another one from the new record, Running on Dreams. We hung out here with Danielle for the whole hour tonight, played a whole bunch of her music. We had a great time with her on Wednesday at Breakers. Thanks for coming in. Great to see you again. Oh, thank you so much for having me and for all your support. And just to everybody listening at home, we have a whole new audience now in, in, in southern Luzerne County and Columbia County. They might be hearing you for the first time because they weren't with us when you were here last yeah. time. Where can people find you and your music online yeah they can head to daniel sings.com it's d-a-n-i hyphen e-l-l-e sings.com and there you can link up to itunes and google play spotify and of course all my social media facebook and everything yeah check that out thanks for coming in again we're going to close so the show with a, another one from the new record this one's called head for home we'll catch you next sunday night How do you stop a heart from breaking? How do you keep a soul from shattering down? How do you stop a mind from racing? Right.